Hey everybody, Pazzi here. Welcome to the council. We're going to play episode one. Hey, has my name already? Oh. Sacred one. And here we go. Let's start the new game. Episode one. Read letters from the address or the other guest. Friends. Buddy, December 10th, 1792. <clears throat> Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Uh, okay, act. Trust her. Okay, I think mother knows best. We trust her. <laughs> Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Go, mother! Wow. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Wow, they're pretty awesome, aren't they? This mother and son duo. The acting so pro. Wow. 
Fill the conditions detail in Talos menu to unlock permanent bonuses. One month later, January 20th, 1793. Lord Mortimer's Island of the coast of England. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The Council, Episode 1, The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? And hmm, I have business, just like you. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son, to get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. It is indeed. But I don't have time to answer you. <laughs> it's time to the Duchess now. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A Cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. What? <sighs> are you all right? Oh, darn it. There's something wrong with me! Oh, no. <laughs> Mother? Oh, shit. Your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? I, yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. What the heck? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. 
Just one thing left to do. No, mother, no, no, no! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No, but I trusted you. No, Sarah, don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. Whoa! He's not bleeding now. Is that a possible future? A possible outcome? Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. I definitely have to find mother quickly. Am I going crazy or or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. I think I went into her mind for a second there, and I believe that is going to be a possible future that I can prevent, maybe? An outcome that I would try to avoid. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, okay, let's continue on. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know I can look around in this game. <laughs> I thought it's all about choices and all. And cutscenes, but I can actually di control the character. Any objects I can interact with or not. Hey, the Duchess! She's waiting for me. Hello, Duchess. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Choose your class, diplomat. The diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids false paths as he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Occultist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. A detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. So choose a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Okay, um, I think the normal route would be detective. It's probably the most common one. Skills are questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. I think I am a natural born detective. <laughs> yeah, the other two doesn't really line with me. I'm not a diplomat and I'm not an occultist. So I'm picking the most common one, <laughs> detective. <laughs> I know, I know, guys. I don't want to venture into the unknown. I'll pick detective. I like being a detective in games. So, Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use those skills. So, one skill point in manipulation, one skill point in psychology. So, I think that is like an innate ability for a detective. Level 1, level 1, level 1, level 0. Okay, occultism. Diversion. Okay, we are following this path right now. 
I have three points. Three points left before level two. Okay, looks like each section can hold four points. Vigilance, questioning, logic, psychology. I have one point already. Three points. So if I add another one in psychology then. Add one in logic. Using mind, logical mind and oratorical talents, I like that. Okay, looks like these skills won't have an effect until they reach another level. So if that is the case, then, okay, you know what, I'll just put one in uh, questioning then. Yeah, next time I put two in psychology so I can reach level two with that subject. Okay. I like that. Uh, validate. Hold space. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? I'm sorry, I don't remember you. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll be honest here. I like her. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt, remember? No? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. But it does matter. <laughs> it does matter. I want to remember you. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. This is getting complicated. What? Opportunities? Hidden details? What hidden details? You mean items? Objects? What the heck is this? Validate? Uh, 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 okay, the necklace. When the time limit is over, an answer is automatically selected. Check dialogue timer at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I think I used too much time there. <laughs> okay, I'm off. Don't get left behind. Oh no! Oh no! I thought a choice would be automatically I don't know selected. Where you're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. That's horrible. Can I go back? <laughs> I missed my first chance. What the heck, guys? <laughs> Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to reveal your the un uh, reveal the unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting up improvements. <laughs> that wasn't fair, guys. That wasn't fair. I want to go back. Oh no! I missed my first chance. That is horrible. <laughs> All right, I'll just keep going. What's done is done. I was that. What's not done is done. Oh man, that's horrific. Royal jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. 
Royal Jelly. <laughs> uh, access the menu to press enter. Oh, we got a map here. Character. Okay, that's my character. Talents. Wow, so many different skills. Traits. Journal. Zara de Richard, that's my mother. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society, politics, trade transactions, secrets of state or paranormal spheres. The Order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the Order was the, the development of its branches in America, Europe and Central Africa. Not to mention the expansion of her occult section, uh, which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis, Louis to become the new face of the Golden Order. Emily Hillsborough, to be discovered. To be discovered? What? Why is it to be discovered? She's an English duchess, close to the English crown, very discreet about her origins. Emily only came in only to political scene after her wedding that some qualify as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister, William Pitt, to take her as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island because of, for nothing in the world would she miss one of these famed receptions. So that's me, Lewis, the only son of Sarah. Ever since he was a young child, Lewis moved in his mother's circles, and so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. And precautious, Lewis progressed quickly on her side. Despite the daily treatment his mother prescribed for his chronic migraines, he climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in occult cases, for which he was, in, uh, he was particularly talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Everything pointed to one day young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. I wonder if mother knows about his uh, special ability or not. She knows he has migraines from a young age, but what about that special? Go inside person ability. <laughs> Okay, with Zap. Okay, we also met him in the opening. His Eminence, the Cardinal Guizab Piagi, is a legate of Pope Pius the Saves. A distinguished speaker, Guizab worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church, a man of science and amateur philosopher. He quickly caught the ear of the Pope, who discreetly named him Cardinal in Pector. He was thus able to use his relationship of trust to help Pius the Saves in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Sir Gregory Holm, Piagi is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interests of the Holy See. Okay, I wonder what those seven dots are at the bottom? Are those the points? Those, uh, wait, what do they call it again? Those special points. Uh, okay, we have two ways here, guys. What, what's over here? Can we go... Oh, it's blocked. Hold on. I'm gonna go over here. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. So... I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. 
But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again, because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost it is in effort points. Browse your skills by using the character tab in the menu. What? We think that perhaps Sir Mothers was here. So this choice needs a point. Um, and did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Okay. This is so complicated, guys. Uh, logic level. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Okay, character review servant. Gee, okay, uh, let's look at the servant character now. Wait, where is it? Journal? Servants. All Mortimer servants wear a mask. It is a recurring subject of conversation among the guests. No one knows the true reason. 